So stepping into Netflix was an entirely new world of animation because it was invented at the moment that we stepped in. It felt like Neil Armstrong walking on the moon. My name's Glenn Keane, and I am directing Over the Moon. You know, Glenn Keane is one of the living legends of animation, and basically telling me, like, everything's gonna be okay, Jorge. You're here for a reason. It's insane. It's like being a little kid dressed up like Robin, and Batman shows up and sits down to eat lunch with you. That's what it feels like. The first time I made my own piece, I was addicted. That was, that was it. My name is Shion Takeuchi, and I'm a writer and producer at Netflix. We got uh, James Baxter here. He's possibly the greatest living animator. I like doing all kinds of animation, and I love doing things in different styles. I'm James Baxter. I'm the director of character animation. In a way, it's been kind of intimidating working with your heroes, but everyone's been so nice and encouraging and welcoming. What excites me is like teaming up with an artist who has a very definite style and helping them to bring that style to the screen. Craig McCracken, who's, who's working here as well, which is a trip. In animation, you can really do anything. You know, it's just this open medium where anything you can think of and anything you can create, you can make. My name is Craig McCracken, and I'm an animation producer. When I was a kid, I would draw, not to do a drawing, but to make the paper go away. I'm inspired by life. Sounds like a cheesy answer, but it's true. I don't know. My name is Matt Lazel. I'm an animation director. I would probably define my style as out of the box, um, a little bit strange and humorous. <laughs> my name is Elizabeth Ito. My specialty is experimental animation. I didn't see a lot of people that look like me in cartoons, so I made it my mission in life to celebrate where I'm from. I've been drawing since I could hold a crayon. That was always my favorite thing to do growing up, and I started making stop motion movies with my dad when I was 10. Uh, my name is Chris Williams. I'm working on a movie called Jacob and the Sea Beast. The first ever thing I animated was a monkey walking, and the walk went something like this. For me, it's really just the goal to make people feel good, I think. <laughs> I mean, I've been a mentor for a lot of artists, but now I realize that I'm learning from the young people that are around me, and that's the best. The thing I was really excited about Netflix was the fact that they trust us. They trust the creative people who are gonna make the content. Coming to Netflix was an opportunity to come to a place that was really about embracing different voices from different types of creators and telling different kinds of stories. The power of Netflix is in the freedom it gives its creators. We need you to be you. Lucha Libre means the fight to be free, and I think that's what all artists connect to. And so I'm willing to do everything to fight for that freedom, and Netflix has given me the ring, and the world hopefully is going to get to watch this lifelong battle. I guess I was drawn to Netflix because they make stuff that other people won't take a chance on making. It's a place where people are getting to make the thing that they always wanted to make, but they never thought they would get to make. I'm paddling as fast as I can because I'm riding this big wave that's about to just really surge and there's going to be a whole new wonderful wave of animation that's going to hit the world and that's why I'm here.